Hello friends and welcome to the June 12th edition of Antler Watch here at PGP Whitetails. We're starting off this week in our doe pen. This sweet doe has just had these two sweet little babies. Uh, they're just minutes old and they are beginning to try to figure out how their body works. We are about halfway through our fawning season. We do plan to bottle raise a few of our babies this year. Uh, and we'll bring you along for that when we get that going. And now we're in our yearling pen. We have a variety of antlers this year in our yearling pen. You know, I've told you before, we don't judge a deer by its first set of antlers. We've got some spikes, some four points, some six point yearlings all through this pen. This afternoon, most of them were pretty chill, pretty care, didn't really care what I was doing in the pen except this guy. He came down and started watching me and he's kind of trying to get out of the way. He blew at me and kind of ran off just a little bit. But what I want you to notice is this stomping that he's doing. Um, we see deer do this stomping pattern. It's kind of a warning. He's just letting me know, hey, I don't know what you're up to, but I don't like it. So either you need to move on or I'm going to move on. June is both a good month and a bad month in the deer farming business. It's a great month because you have new babies, which increases the size of your herd and it improves your genetics. But also it's a horrible month because June means horse flies. Some people call them deer flies, but they really are in the same family. There are over 4,000 different kinds of horse flies worldwide and they are absolutely relentless this month. As you know, horse flies are very, very aggressive, but it's only the female horse flies that bite and they suck the blood. The bite is very painful, as most of you know, but they tend to bite the deer on their head, their neck, their legs, um, anywhere they can get a hold of, and you can see the deer just constantly being bothered by them. And here's Randy. Last time I told you that he would be splitting into a six point and you can see that he is a clear six now. He is continuing to bulb up and it looks like he may split again into an eight. We're thinking Randy is probably going to be a little bit wider this year than he was last year. You can see he's bellying up to the salad bar here deer are browsers they like to eat leaves and things and if you were to walk around our pen you would find all of the lower branches on every tree every shrub every bush every vine is completely stripped clean of its leaves in the wild Deer forage for four to six pounds of food for every 100 pounds of body weight, and they do this every day. Over a year's time, they forage for over a ton of food per year. So our guys love it when we pull down the branches and they, we break off some leaves or throw leaves to them. We also have to, of course, since they are in captivity, we have to supplement their diet with the feed that we give them. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with us as we look back at Randy over the course of this antler growing season. As always, I must tell you that we are licensed breeders in the state of Alabama and we do abide by all state regulations and guidelines for the safety and health of our animals. Thank you for joining us again. 
We hope that you're enjoying this content, and if you are, please consider giving us a thumbs up so that lets YouTube know that you like this content and would like to see more of it. Also, another way you can help us is to share this content with your friends. Thanks for being with us this week. We look forward to sharing more about our deer with you in the upcoming videos.